for Donald Trump, uh, I'll have to say he looked very much in control of this process, and certainly that is going to play well back back home. Uh, but again, the whole thing depends on what the substance of the actual agreement is, and we're just going to have to see what that actually says. Very quickly, almost out of time, uh, take a look at the front page of North Korea's main newspaper, a full-on color spread, photographs of Kim Jong-un walking around Singapore. Um, you know, it's a modern city with the kind of bright lights most North Koreans have never seen. Um, is this another sign of, of the changes to Kim Jong-un's image at home? He's on the international stage now. Um, in some ways, he seems to be heading towards more openness, which would seem to be hard to walk back at this point. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, true. I think that there's a, lo a lot of symbolism with that handshake with Donald Trump. Uh, you know, the United States has been sort of the, the great Satan, the cause for all the North Korean suffering. And so even though Kim Jong-un is a dictatorship, he's got a signal to his people that things are going to change. Even if, you know, it's like a big ship. You can't turn it on a dime. It has to happen very slowly. And this is the beginning of that process if it's going to happen. And uh, uh, so I do think think that there is great importance in the symbolism and so this is the start again of a process again we could be right back where we were knowing how North Korea is where we were last year where there was all these threats more missile tests more nuclear tests we're just gonna have to see what happens yeah, we're also getting word that uh, Kim Jong-un's motorcade has now left Sentosa Island um, I guess this is uh, coming to an end of a very historic day uh, Philip thank you appreciate you being with thank us. you